How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called binary number with alternating bits. This is a leak code question that's asked by Yahoo. I decided to do this question actually because someone left a comment on my last video. So Harsh left a comment asking me to do a bit manipulation problem. So I decided to try and do this problem for him today. So if you guys have any problems you guys want to see done or any types of problems that you might need help with, leave a comment. Be sure to let me know whether it's a topic or a specific question. I'd be happy to try and do it. There are a couple other comments, guys. Don't worry, I'm, I'm aware that you guys are uh, looking for a certain problem solved, so don't worry, I didn't forget about you. Um, I just kind of decided to do this problem today, so let's get into it. So, with that being said, here we go. Binary problem with alternating bits. So given a positive number, check whether it has alternating bits. Namely, if two adjacent bits will always have different values. So as example one, we're given the number five, and we output true because the binary representation of five is one, zero, one. And so the bits are always alternating. So if you take two bits, they're different, they're different. So let's look at seven. So this is ex example two here. It's false because they're all ones, right? So two adjacent bits, both are ones. That's a violation. Same thing here with 11 and 10, obviously, is true. So hopefully that makes sense as a problem. So we're going through all the binary, uh, excuse me, all the bits in the binary representation of n, the number that we're given, and we just wanna check if adjacent bits are different. So if two adjacent bits are different, we continue, and once we've found uh, two that are the same, we just return false. So that sounds like pretty good logic to me. So we, what we can do to start is we have to be careful when there's an even case, right? So we can't just take two bits here and then try and move uh, and compare. Like, let's say these were one and zero and they checked out and they were fine. Oh, actually we could do it here. So these two bits are fine, right? One and zero, they're different. So one and zero. And now if we tried to move to the next two bits, we would only have one. So what I propose we do is we first, before we do anything with a loop, we just grab the lowest, uh, or sorry, the least significant bit. So we get that bit, whatever it is, and we just keep track of it. We can call that last. Um, then we should shift our numbers so that we don't grab the same bit again. And then we can have a loop with something like current, and then we can compare current and last. And if they're the same, whether they're both zero or both one, we can return false. But if they're different, we should just keep continuing. So we would want to set uh, last to current, shift our number so that we don't grab the same bit next time, and then kind of just continue on. So if we get through that entire loop and we've never returned false, we can turn true. So let's do that. So we said we will have an int called last, and we just want to grab the last bit, right? So we talked about this in a couple other videos, but if we did n mod 2, that's going to check if n is odd or even. And so if something is even, it's gonna return zero if you do n mod two. And if something's odd, it'll return one. And so even numbers, their last, or sorry, their least significant bit, every even number's least significant bit is a zero. And every odd number, every odd number's least significant bit is a one. So that will give us the least significant bit to start. And now we wanna shift our number. So we will basically like remove that last bit that we just evaluated. And now we want to go through all the remaining bits and kind of just check our last versus the current uh, bit that we're going to get. So we'll say, actually, let's do a while loop. So while n is greater than zero, so we haven't gone through every single bit in n, we want to get the current bit. So we'll say int current is equal to, and we'll do the same thing, n mod 2. So now we have last and we have current, and we just want to compare them. So if current is equal to last, that's a problem because the problem statement says they have to be alternating. So if current is equal to last, we just return false because we found two bits that are the same that are adjacent. Otherwise, if that's not the case, we want to set uh, current equal to last and we want to shift our number by one. Does that make sense? Set our current to last or set our, set our last to current? Yes, set our last to current. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. And if we've gone through every bit in N uh, and we haven't returned false, then we can return 
True. So let's see if that works. Awesome, and it does. Sorry, I got a little bit confused. Uh, bit manipulation can be a little confusing sometimes. But anyways, that's how you solve binary number with alternating bits. I hope this is helpful, guys. If it was, be sure to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Uh, I release a video every single day so you guys can kind of try and see a new tech interview. If you guys have any questions you guys want me to solve, topics, questions, companies, anything, leave it in the comments. I'd be sure to happy. I'd be happy to respond and try and make a video on it. So with that being said, good luck on your interviews, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.